right guys it's Tiny Tay and I'm back today with some more shenanigans. In today's video I will be covering Stanley Adventure Quenchers and if I think they're worth it. This is basically my like seventh or six month review of mine um, and yeah let's get into it. If you're new here remember to like subscribe and comment. If you're returning hi welcome back I have missed you. Here she is, my most used Stanley tumbler, I would say. I have quite a few. I am going to do a collection video of those because um, you guys have liked all my other cup collection videos, so why not? But this is the color chambray. These kind of went viral like over the summer last year, at the end of the year a little bit, um, from TikTok, from the Buy Guide. From everywhere, basically, all the influencers, Utah, TikTok, everybody's kind of been pushing these cups. And obviously, this brand, it's been around since 1913. It's long made its name before these adventure quenchers came out. But obviously, these are all the rage right now. So, is the cup that broke the internet really worth it? We can start off by kind of naming the qualities that people hype it up for the most and that's that it's two days iced, it can be 11 hours cold and I think seven days hot. Um, so obviously you can use this for ice drinks, hot drinks, whatever. I found that it absolutely holds up to that 100% like honestly I might even say longer because there's been some times where I drink it and I'm like dang this is still cold and I don't ice every time but I do for the most part do cold because I don't like warm things and if I do do warm I won't use these cups because I'm just kinda of weird like that I have put iced coffee in this probably like under five times and I haven't found personally that it leaves an iced coffee taste in it but I think some people who may use it more for iced coffee find that it does but I've heard mixed reviews on that one. The whole like excitement of it is that it has a handle aside from other than it's cold and hot time. Um, it can be a sip lid, a straw lid, or technically a closed lid, but it, it doesn't really close. It does leak. Even the 2.0 that just came out like two weeks ago is still leaking. It's leaking but it's leak resistant so they put the little stopper in there. Not the stopper that everyone like that you see on TikTok, not that one. That one's separate from Stanley Brand altogether but Stanley has put a little like rubber thing in there that closes this up. I'll add a picture over here. Um, so that it doesn't leak as much. Personally, I have slept with this cup in my bed and I've had it tilted on Squishmallows. I didn't wake up wet. I also have drink drinking out of this laying down and I've gotten wet. So I really like that's just like it's a cup. It has a straw, it has a hole. You can expect that you're gonna get wet at some point or that at some point it's gonna leak. There's no way that this was ever gonna be fully leak proof and I feel like people are struggling to kind of grasp that concept. It's like the difference between waterproof and water resistant. You know, people struggle with that difference there, but the difference is there for a reason. This was never going to be leak proof. So if you're looking for a leak proof cup, this isn't it. Um, I do have the new Yeti leak proof cup and I have found that one to be 100% leak proof. So if you're looking for that or information on that, I would happily do a video on that. But of course, this is about the Stanley. Kind of talked about their like call to fame or I guess why they're so popular with the handle, with the straw, um, with the ability to stay cold and of course with all of the viralness of it. That's that but let's get into my personal opinions on it, on these cups. First of all, I'm gonna say I love it. I have been making the switch um, to go plastic free in my house and a lot of that has meant getting getting rid of or going away from buying less of the Starbucks cups that I love to collect. I still do go out there on release days, um, but I just don't get nearly as many as I used to and I've gotten rid of quite a bit. Um, and I've actually traded some Starbucks cups for Stanley cups because... I prefer the Stanley. I prefer the stainless steel. Um, I know these can last for quite some time. 
I have heard that dropping them could mess up the vacuum seal. Same with putting in the dishwasher. I don't dishwash mine just because I only have a very small two rack dishwasher and there's not a lot of space in between the racks. So I really have to be meticulous. Like I can only even fit like four pans in there. So there's no way I'd be able to fit my entire collection of cups in there or even like the three cups that I rotate at a time in there. There's just no way. So I hand wash these, but I've heard, heard that it possibly could. Honestly, I don't know. It's kind of like dropping your hydro flask or dropping your Yeti. Like, Stanley themselves have said that these have been dropped off of mountains. These have been rolled over by cars. Like, their product is one, built for like the outdoors, two, built to last. So it's like, I find it hard to believe that they would market it as dishwasher safe and have a dishwasher safe item if the possibility of a dishwasher messing them up up was there because then that would flood their department with potential hey my dish my cup doesn't work after my dishwasher dropping I maybe get because it is a vacuum seal but again they market these cups as being ran over. something to take into account I guess um, along with that they do have a lifetime warranty so you could get your cup replaced probably not the same color depending on the time period, but you definitely could get it replaced. They're definitely going to take care of you um, to some extent, and I like that in a company. Next, I love the straw. I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, straws are going to give me wrinkles. Like, no, I love the straw. I love a straw cup, personally. So, of course, that was another appeal to it for me. I love how long it lasts. I love that it's only $40. Very comparable to a lot of those big name brands. You're not really getting a 40 ounce cup for under $40 that does all the things that this does. Like even some of the Yeti water bottles are around that same price for the same if not less ounces. So it's like to me, that's worth it. Of course, if you do online, you have to pay shipping. You have to pay shipping on pretty much anything that's not prime these days. Or you're spending over however much money to get free shipping. Which, you know, you do you. But for what it's worth, for a $40 cup, for everything that it does, for all the colors, and they have a 2.0 style now. I do not have that yet. Um, I'm hoping to get my hands on the eucalyptus color, but I'll keep you guys updated. So for all that it's worth... I love it. I would absolutely recommend. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's perfect for me. Very nicely into my lifestyle. I carry big bags anyway, so I can put this in a bag if needed to be. I put it inside of my coach bag. I sleep with it in my bed sometimes. Like For me, it works great for my lifestyle. The one thing I will say, I have traveled with it, and I did find that a little bit inconvenient. Um, not necessarily even with the leaking, but just like one, not having an available hand when traveling. Also, like, I would just put my <laughs> wrist through it sometimes like this. So it's like, even then I have something on my wrist and I'm carrying something else. I'm looking into getting a bag made for it. If I do get one, I'll shove it on my Instagram. If you're, if you're not following me on Instagram, please be sure to follow me over there. It's just like inconvenient. I didn't really have a place to sit it like on my luggage they do have luggage cup holders now which I will link because a lot of influencers are using those now and I definitely could have used one in the moment and they do fit down here they won't go up here obviously because the handle but it I would be secure enough with it another thing you can do is clip it onto your backpack or onto your purse with just like one of those mountain clips which again I did not think of any of this before traveling with it so honestly I might travel with it again and give it another chance see if I could be kind of more hands-free with it and still love it and I was going to Arizona and I flew on a really small um, airline so I didn't have a lot of like space to really put it obviously there's not like cup holders on the plane so traveling with it was probably like a 7 out of 10 experience but that was when I was like super attached with it and incapable of using any of my other 1,000 water bottles that I won like gripe about it but even then a lot of that was probably just operator error and not being as like thinking about it as I should have before I traveled with it and I had a huge luggage maybe if I had did it with a carry-on things would have been a little bit different but Anyway, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed my review of the cup that broke the internet. I think it was absolutely worth it. 
Stay tuned for my Stanley Cup collection if you'd like to see that. If not, thank you for watching. Please comment any thoughts or questions that you may have. I'm open to hearing them, and I love to answer questions. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye!